Hello and welcome to the Rubber Ducky tutorial series. In this video, we're going to unbox and get started with our Rubber Ducky. So the first thing we want to take a look at are the components out of the package. So we have a writer adapter as well as the Rubber Ducky itself, which is camouflaged inside of a USB looking package or jacket around it. We can pry that open and you can see the actual rubber ducky here. Now what you want to do is look for the micro SD card. It should be contained in either the rubber ducky itself or the writer. What we want to do is write our program and then place that program on the micro SD card. So we're going to use this writer to do so. So go ahead and slide that in. You want the writing to be facing you, like so. Now after we're done, we're going to take our payload and actually place it in the rubber ducky. And that slides in, similar to the way it slides in the writer, with the writing up. And of course you can put the jacket back around the rubber ducky to disguise it as a regular looking USB. So the first thing you want to do is go to Darren's GitHub page and go ahead and clone the US Rubber Ducky repository. Now I've done that here in my bash shell on Windows and I've saved it under a folder called Rubber Ducky. Go ahead and CD into the USB Rubber Ducky folder and take a look at what's in there. You'll notice that there's a file called duckencoder.jar. That's going to actually create our payload for us. Now let's talk about building our own payload. We're going to build together a very simple Ducky payload just to get your feet wet on how this works. Now the syntax is really simple. We're going to start with a delay so that our Ducky script loads properly. Then we're going to run the GUI. We're going to give the command of starting notepad.exe. Put in another delay just to make sure that the processor is able to catch up with the Ducky script. Then what I want you to do is write a series of string and enter commands with some text that you would like to see displayed. Now once you're done writing all of that, save your file and we're going to go ahead and compile that. Now of course the duckencoder.jar is a jar file so you must have Java pre-installed before you go to compile your code. The command is java tack jar duckencoder.jar, tack i, and then the name of your script. In this case, I've called the script hello.txt. Once you compile, you will notice the inject.bin file has been created for you. That's your payload. Go ahead and copy that to the micro SD card via your writer adapter. And now we're ready for the attack. Go ahead and put your micro SD card into the rubber ducky and go ahead and put that into your USB drive in your computer. So if you need to go through that again, you saw the run command dialog box pop up with the notepad exe get executed, and then you see the message that we typed out. So hopefully this will help you get started quickly in exploring your rubber ducky.